And I'm hoping that that honorific came with a lifetime supply of Ben and Jerry's. Ria, thank you so much for joining me in Firing Line. Thank you so much for having me, Margaret. I have to ask you this first question, is that of course a minister, for example, um, couldn't be called who is Christian. Like in the case of a Christian florist, I think there's an opportunity moving forward to, for the ACLU and for Americans, frankly, nation, uh, that everyone has to follow, generally to address the question of why they couldn't go somewhere else. I'm BT people. This is not an America we want to live in, where businesses are free to s um, Jack Phillips, but but is willing to serve LGBT. They acknowledge the class-based denial of service was going to be impermissible. Well, um, what a long distance we've come. Uh, and he says at one point, writing for the court, you know, it's unexceptional. Pretty clearly to the religious community that there may be some possibilities for certain service. LGBT people uh, as members worthy of the same protection that we grant people on the basis of their race, their religion. LGBT Americans, rather than relying on a series of Senator Merkley, welcome to Firing Line. Thank you very much. And Great to be with you. I want to thank you. They're in, but they're in a place where it's not a solid foundation on which they deserve that. I think, I think we can't have this conversation without sort of backing up to how the Senate rules have changed. And language that seems pretty insane. Merrick Garland was stolen. Absolutely. So in 2016, just hours after Antonin... I'm willing to admit that... Senate norms were changed. They said about the Supreme Court in 1975.